Hello everyone, this is going to be a short video about my thrifted Valentine's decor. So let me give you an overview and then I will just briefly talk about everything. The majority of these items have been thrifted. So starting on the top, I have an antique basket up there that I purchased from an online estate sale. Inside the basket, I just kind of draped over an apron that I purchased recently from a basement sale. And if you have not seen that video, I will link that in the description. And then I have this heart frame. I don't know if it is crystal or glass. I think it might be crystal, but I'm not positive. I've covered up the picture. My husband prefers that I do not um, share his image. So I just placed a post-it note on there and it's such a cute post-it note. Stay kind and honest. And um, I think that is a perfect message for today because we need more kindness. So as you go about your day, try to always try to show kindness to people. You never know what someone is going through. So anyway, off my soapbox now about that. I have a few of the Reader's Digest books and the one on the top has, what does it say? Those who love. So I thought that was appropriate for the Valentine's Day theme. And then I put one of the willow, what are they called? Willow, let me check. It's called Willow Tree and probably some of you already knew that. The Willow Tree figurine. I have this really pretty jewelry box and let me open it and show you what's inside. Okay, so it is from the Second World War era and it is a matching necklace and bracelet set. And look how pretty that is, it is sterling. My husband purchased this for me. I do collect sweetheart jewelry, what's referred to as sweetheart jewelry. And if you're not familiar, it is jewelry that was given to mothers and wives or girlfriends during the Second World War. If you Google sweetheart jewelry, you will get all sorts of information. But that is what this is. And I just thought it would be so pretty and sweet to include it with the Valentine's decor. And I tried to go with more muted colors. I didn't want to go with the traditional red and pink. So I thought this, I don't know what color this is, but um, it's kind of a muted red. So I thought that would go really nicely. And then moving down into the inside of the secretary, I was not sure what this piece of furniture was called and some nice person commented and told me that it's called a secretary. So that is what I am calling it. I have my Fiesta wear in here. I just kind of added a few pieces. I did not do too much but I added our wedding glasses and you can see there are hearts on the wedding glasses. And I guess those are considered vintage since we have been married 20 years. This year was our 20th, I'm sorry, last August was our 20th anniversary. So I think we can consider those vintage. And then, I purchased this adorable plate. I thought it was so pretty at the basement sale. And again, I will link that haul video in the description below. And then I kept this piece from my winter decor and I thought it was really pretty. The glass piece, I believe was a piece from my husband's 
great grandmother and then i just put it on top of a cake stand or a cupcake stand and i added this really pretty vintage vase that i also purchased from the basement sale and the beautiful florals i got those from the basement sale so i think the majority of the things i used this time around came from that basement sale i'm referring to I put a book over here, just a white book to kind of bring in the white from the dishes. I just felt like it needed something else over there to pull in that white color. And on the second shelf, I left the Fiesta Ware casserole dish in there. I also kept the cut glass. Um, I don't know if that is for flowers it's probably a vase i guess so i left that in in there i used it in my winter decor so i just left it in here for my valentine's decor i left the silver plated silverware and then just put in some of the white flowers more fiesta wear that i left in here and this really pretty handheld mirror back here belonged to my grandmother. My grandfather purchased it for her for Valentine's Day when they were dating. So it is, I think I estimated, it is about 80 years old and I just love it and I thought it would be appropriate to have in my Valentine's decor. So I just love it. I'm so glad that she gave it to me. I put a little sprig of the white flowers there and then on the bottom shelf i kept the cut glass sugar dish and again i believe that was from my husband's grandmother or great-grandmother i believe and i just, I just put some I don't know what this is called trim on the inside just to give it a little color but um i think i'll leave it like that i kind of like that that looks pretty so some more fiesta wear and then another plate again the plate came from the basement sale and it matches the red color on the handheld mirror and then also on the jewelry box so i also left in the cut glass creamer and i left the silverware in that as well added some flowers and that was it for the in that was it for the inside of my secretary and then below here I added this basket I got that basket at an online estate auction. I put in this afghan that I purchased recently at a thrift store and then just put in some florals and those look so real. I think they look like real flowers. They're just really high quality. I got those at the basement sale and so I thought it would look pretty. So there you have it. Let me give you one more overview. I just kind of went simple. I did not do too much, but I wanted to do something and I thought it turned out cute. Let me know what you think. Let me know your favorite piece. Let me know how you're decorating for Valentine's Day. And I hope you have a wonderful day full of kindness. Thank you so much for watching.